Hello KBU Nation, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Um, I'm not sure how I sound right now, but uh, my nose is a little stuffed up here, so I'm not quite 100% coming into this video, um, but we are here. We are ready to do some more racing and ready to do some more World of Outlaws career mode. I hope you guys are, and obviously I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. It seems like you are, so that is great. Um, we are definitely going to keep at it here. Um, obviously, as you can see up next, we have Fairberry in the local circuit. We still set, set, sit, can't talk, sit second in the standings at this point. We did lose some points to Blake Schlenkloth in the last episode. If you have not checked that out yet, I do suggest you do so. Um, but we did finish in seventh. Schlenkloff finished in third, which was okay for us. Um, the fact that he did finish in third, he did not win the race. Um, but we did lose points to him in the last episode. He is the first guy to 1,000 points. And with four races left to go, we need to have a good finish here. Um, obviously, Fairberry, as you could see here, the last race that we were at was a showcase event. And we did get beat out by a two, a couple, a couple of uh, regional guys, which is good news for us because maybe that just maybe we'll actually win this one potentially, and maybe Schlenkoff will finish down the order a little bit. I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but we'll just see what happens here. But we have we have Fairberry, we have Prairie View, which if you didn't see the regional part of this episode, we didn't do so well at Prairie View. Um, hoping that isn't the case here. But we have something figured out for that. But that'll be in the next episode. Lima Land and Eldora to end the season. I don't know, guys. I don't know if we'll be able to win this or not. I'm certainly going to give it my best. But we do have that coming up. And in the regionals, we have the I-84 Raceway and Prairie Creek for the late models. So, yeah, it's, it's going to get interesting. And of course, as always, before we get started into this video here, I'm going to get set up here for the late model race at Prairie Creek. But as always, guys, I do hope you enjoy this video. And if you do, please hit that like button, comment, subscribe if you're new and want to see plenty more content like this, as well as other content on this channel. And we're going to get started here. Um, obviously, we need to repair this car. Can we do any upgrades to it? I wonder. Um, looks like we're going to purchase a part. We might go ahead and purchase some parts here for the late model because we do need to upgrade this car. For now, I'm just going to try to purchase the parts if I can. Level 3 suspension. I imagine chassis we won't be able to... Yeah, we were not going to be able to afford the chassis. So let's upgrade our tires. A lot of money right there to spend, but we got it done. Do one upgrade here for the suspension as far as this part. So we'll have to do the other two the next time um, we get back in this car. So Prairie Creek Speedway in Iowa, 24 lap main event. And yeah, um, first place gets $20,000, but we're going to be nowhere near that. As you can tell, we're sitting 22nd in the points um, because we are down the order at the moment. So, but I'm going to get in here. I'm going to see how this car feels. And we'll see how it feels with this track, because this looks like a weird-looking track. Not normal of the uh, dirt tracks I've seen here so far in this game. Um, it's got a little bit of a tri-oval around the back stretch. So, back stretch. Stretch, stretch. Wow. Back stretch. But I'm going to get out here. I'm going to do some practice laps, and we'll see you guys for qualifying. All right, here we go for qualifying. I don't feel fast, but I haven't felt fast all year in this car. But we just need to get some upgrades on it. As we start our first lap, get through three and four here, just kind of throw the car in. Oh! That's the fastest lap I think I turned. I've been turning 11 eights. I just turned an 11 three somehow. Maybe the, maybe the low line is the best way to run here. I ran low, I think, for the most part. I did not run near the cushion. So it's P23 for us. We're going to start in sixth place for heat number three. Top five, I believe, will advance to the A main. We got one position to gain. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it, but we're sure going to try. 
All right, heat number three up here for us, and it is green flag, and we are a go in the heat race. That's a nice spot for the dirt spec to land. I love that they've added that aspect in there to where your tear off, you have tear offs. Oh, let's make a little bit of contact there with Wilson. Um, I love the aspect that they have tear offs now in this game, but also at the same time. <laughs> Those dirt, those dirt specs get in the wrong spot at the wrong time, which is just like real life. It's just like how it is on, in an actual car. Which I do know a couple of guys that do race at the local circuit. As we got two laps to go here, we're not making up any ground here on Wilson. He's getting away from us, so I think it is going to be the B main for us here to try to race our way in to the show. That was a bad corner for us there. Final lap, enter three, up off of four, and we're going to stay in P6. So not a good result there for us. Um, just kind of maintain where we were, but we will start in position to make it to the A main, start in P3 for the B main. So hopefully we can get through to the A main, kind of like what we did in Knox. Actually, we didn't do that. Did we do that in Knoxville? I know Knoxville is like 48 laps or something like that, but I think we had to do that in Knoxville. So, all right, let's get in here. Let's try to get ourselves into the A main, guys. All right, here we go. With probably 12 laps to get ourselves into the show. Green flag is out. We're underway in the B main. Yes, it is 12 laps. Top five advance. We got a guy to our inside here as we try to get past on, get, go three wide. Still have that guy to our inside. I think it's Kendall Tucker. Still there. I want the bottom so bad, but I can't get it because he's right there. Or she, I don't know. Ten laps to go. We do now finally clear Tucker. And we're in second place here. We got Steve Reese ahead of us. Didn't he win like that? I think he won the last race we ran, which was Knoxville. That's I hit the wall. He won the last race we ran, which was at Knoxville for the late models. And now he's here in the B main. What is going on with him? Make a lot of contact there with Kendall Tucker. Probably doesn't like that. As we hold on to second place here. Seven laps to go. Oh, we got a wreck in turn four. And we just caught the end of that. Like number 13. Couldn't tell who that was. Not sure who that is, but number 13 was involved on that one. And we got a piece of it there, so... We're going to get the restart here late in the B main, running in second. Looks like a two-lap shootout to end this. Need to get a good start here. We get a good launch coming out of turn two to try to hold off Tucker. And Steve Reese's start had a bad corner there. Final lap. Can we get the B main? Can we steal the B main away? Tucker is through to first. And we're going to send it in there. No, we do not get it. We almost had the B main there, but it is a second place in the B main, which means we move on to the A starting in 22nd. That was kind of so shocking there. Steve Reese did not have a good restart. And he lost the lead and even lost second place to us. So that was a shocking restart for Reese. But we go on to the A main here, guys, uh, starting in 22nd. I'm not expecting much here after that. All right, here we go. A main time for the late models, and we are green flag at Prairie Creek. Actually, had to hit the brake there going into turn three to keep from running into the back of these guys in front of us as we are trying to get around Wilson. That's Steven Wilson. And cannot do that at all. Had to hit the brake again going into three. We're just sending this car off into the corner here. 
And these other guys are kind of a little bit slower going into the corner than we are. As that time we go low. I think I found something towards the end of the B main where we just kind of stay around the bottom again, kind of feather that throttle a little bit, and then mash it getting off the corner. And it seems to work. That's where we got our fast lap in qualifying. So hopefully we can do that here. Just kind of like what we did in the uh, street stock. Maybe we can hopefully do that in the next episode for the locals. Oh, we just wrecked Wilson, and we're stuck on each other. Ah. And somehow lapping already began. We're already a lap down. I didn't even see the leader. So the leader must have caught up on us quick. Okay, well. We can only gain two, two or three spots here, which is probably all we were going to gain anyway. And as we are back to green... A little bit of contact there with Margie Brooks. And now we are alongside Mr. Phil Flores. Oh, a lot of contact there. Great contact all over the place right now. And Kendall Tucker is the only one we can't even pass. We've unlapped ourselves on Kendall Tucker. But that's all. The 21st is all the further we can go right now. 13 laps to go. Whoa, contact up ahead, and we hit into the side of Smith. I thought we were going to avoid it, but we end up getting doored by Smith there, who got spun out. Going down the front stretch. I'm not real sure. Can't remember who he made contact with. But that brings out a caution, and here we go again. Still one lap down. We can pass Kendall Tucker and Justin Smith both for position now because they are a lap down we were able to stay just one lap down but with only a handful of laps remaining six laps to go we don't have much time to do it and smith is no there's smith he didn't really pull away like i thought he did but we do pass by kendall tucker and that is p20 for us at the moment and that is 20th place Nothing really much to talk about there. We just kind of got just away from the guys behind us. And the guys in front of us just got away from us. So that's unfortunate there. But nothing we could really done there any different. Daniel Wilson wins the A main. David Parker, Mason Massey, Joe Lusk, Alex Bergeron, Brian Carter, Travis Solomberger, Matty Watkins, Josh Copeland, and Devin Whatley are your top ten. But, yeah, nothing much we could do there. We kind of made, got into a wreck there early on. And as they'll be coming up on it here pretty shortly. Let's go ahead and fast forward. Yeah. <laughs> that might actually be a good thumbnail right there. Not going to lie. Yeah, we just made contact there with the 10 car. And it we obviously there's the leader right there. So the leader is the 12. And he passed us by as we were wrecked in the infield. So. That was unfortunate there, but P20, I will take it. We're going to move on here to the regionals now and the street stocks still, or stay in the regional circuit, but go to the street stocks and to I-84 Raceway. I almost forgot where we were going. I'll see you guys out there for qualifying at I-84. All right, qualifying for I-84 Speedway. This is a three-quarter mile track. And you're going to be wide open, looks like, through the whole entire race. So we're going to probably stick it on the bottom here and hope it sticks. I don't think the high side is a good thing here. It might be. I don't know. We'll try up top first. See how this lap goes. 25-3-3-3. Doesn't hit our goal time. We're going to try the second lap down here on the bottom. Let's see how that goes. Give it our good, just good steady wheel here through three and four. Get up off turn four here. I'm already liking this lap a little bit better, but a, only about three one-hundredths of a second better, so... 
Heat 4 will start in fourth place. We qualified 16th overall in between Bobby Young and Margie Brooks. Uh, Heath Brewster is your pulse center with Brandon Jerns and Blake Schlenkoth, our rival on the local circuit, who is in a much faster car here in the regionals. So I'll see you guys out here for Heat number... Did I say four? I think I said four. Boy, I tell you, my memory is going today for some reason. It's going places. As green flag is out, these cars are going to take a minute to get up to speed because this track is so huge. A three-quarter mile racetrack for the street stocks to run. And holy cow, we do not get going. We're going to lose a couple of positions as there's contact in front of us. Between Carter and somebody else. It wasn't Armstrong. I think it was the car in front of Armstrong, which is Barnes. So this is the problem here. Four laps to go. we got to get to fifth place. There we go. We'll move into fifth. Now let's try to chase down Barnes as we got a horrible start. Let's rebound. Final lap coming up here. We're faster than Barnes, I think. We're definitely much faster getting into the corner, especially at three and four. We're just not close enough. There's not enough time left in the race. So I think fifth place is where we're gonna be unless something miraculous happens, which doesn't. As we come off turn four, we are gonna get into the A main, but we are gonna start, we're gonna be fifth place here, which means we will start last of all the top five runners, which will be 20th. So let's get to the A main here, guys. I'm hoping maybe we can get a better start than what we did there and work our way up through the field. All right, big race for the streak stocks here. Big track for us. Green flag and the A main is underway. A very, very slow start. Let's go off into turn one. And get a run on the high side here, maybe. Let's try that high lane, see if it works. As we are flying around some guys on the outside, that high lane might actually work. Uh, it doesn't work when you bump into guys in front of you, though. <laughs> Sorry about that, Margie Brooks. But we will fly around the outside of Brooks and put us in the P15. Good start for us so far. Let's keep it up. Get the inside of Young here and try to clear. Going into the corner. We do so successfully. Put us up to P14. Now we go after Billy Green here in the 13th position. We're going to go up top. He's going to go low. Not going to get much momentum up here, though, since we did run the bottom coming out of two, so we don't have the momentum on our side. We are going to lose some ground, but we keep the top side rolling here. We might gain that back. <clears throat> wow, what a block. He threw a massive block at Billy Green, and I'm not going to take too kindly to that. That was kind of a block right there not something you should do but it is street stocks and I gave him a little bit of a bumper so if he does it again I'm gonna send him but he ain't gonna get the chance to not even the chance to squeeze us up off the corner as we go around the outside into P13 and we're on lap six still got a long way to go and I can see the top ten in my sights That was a beautiful run through that corner there. Now we're on the in outside of Travis Vanden, or Tanner Vanden Top, excuse me. And he's going to get the edge through three and four there, but we will have a run down the straightaway to possibly get him in coming out of two here to run that top side in hopes of making a pass. We get that run down the straightaway here. We are going to go to the bottom. Going into three, and the pass is made for P12. 
Now we got Ricky Cox up next. Brett Thompson is the guy we need to chase after for a 10th place finish if we can get it. So let's try to get by Ricky Cox and Thompson will be next. We're actually gonna might get Cox right here to go around the outside into 11th place. Put us at the P11. One second to Brett Thompson as Cox is still there fighting on the inside. Nine laps to go. And Ricky Cox is not giving up the spot at all. He is not giving up at all. But he ultimately will probably end up losing this spot as we do clear him now by half a second, six tenths of a second. We actually got a huge run on Brett Thompson right in front of us. As we only have so many laps to go, the top 10 is within reach. The top 10 is in reach. Wow, look at that huge run through one and two. Thompson originally went to block, then he dropped low because he saw the run we had. And that might promote us into the top 10 here if we get a good enough run off turn four. We do get a good run off turn four. We will clear for a little bit, but he is gonna get back alongside of us here in the corner. It's just all about how we can get our run up off the corner. Got to chop him down just a little bit and we are clear. Top 10 for us, Jeremy Cross and Kylie Rollins are up next. We might be able to get Cross right here up off turn four. Round the outside, down the straightaway. That's all it is, just round the outside. <laughs> I like that. Round the outside and put us to P9. Rollins is up next. That was a huge run through three and four right there. We are there on Rollins. I've noticed I don't need to get it over. If I get any bit sideways, this car is not gonna go any faster. But if we hold it around the top side is we're gonna pass Rollins in three and four on the bottom to take away eighth place. But we hold it, hold the steady wheel on the top side and don't get it any slide, just turn it to the left a little. We're fast as we're on the final lap. Let's hold on here for eighth place against Rollins. Some lap traffic up ahead there, but it ain't gonna be a factor. As we're gonna come off turn four and score a top 10 finish here with an eighth place at I-84 in the regional street stocks. How about that? All right, so Heath Brewster will win. He did start on the pole, so he ended up winning. Brandon Jurens, Blake Schlinkloth, Adam Tieran, Cam Jurens, Mikey Thompson, Carson Vandentop, us, Kylie Rollins, and Jeremy Cross are your top 10. We go to 11th in the standings here. We might crack the top 10 in the standings here about ha as we're almost halfway through the regional season. We have a little bit of a ways to go to Mikey Thompson, who did finish ahead of us, so we may not get to him, but who knows. But let's get out here to the next and final race of this episode, which is going to Fairbury, another track where we're going to be riding that top lane probably, only it's like way smaller. It could probably fit inside of the the boundaries of I-84. So I'll see you guys out here for Fairbury next. All right, here we go, qualifying. We need a good qualifying result here in order to cement ourselves in this championship fight with Schlenkloff. We need to get a good qualifying result, and we need a, waste, a win, I think, in the worst way here. We need a win here at Fairbury at all costs. Through three and four on our first lap. A 13.706. That's good enough for our goal time. Let's try to improve upon that. Get through turn four here. We do not improve, but a ninth place it is not pull, but a ninth place will do. We will start heat three, heat one in third place. Schlenkloth actually does not look fast. 
He qualified P6, so he does not look like he's quick today. So that could be good news for us in this championship. This is probably the point where we need a race win in the worst possible way now. We do need a win. We can't finish second. We need a win. We got second at Fairbury earlier this year in a showcase event, or third place rather. Green flag for the heat race. As we are underway, we got Cam Jurens and Mikey Thompson in front of us. As we get around Jurens and Thompson flies around the top side. Five laps here to get something done. And Thompson might get away with, from us here in the heat race, but we'll see how it goes in the A main. As Jurens is to our inside, trying to fight for position there. As four laps to go, let's just hold on here. All right, final lap here in the heat race. We kind of just maintain with Thompson. We haven't really gained or lost that much, but we are going to come off turn four here. We are going to finish second in the heat race, which means we will go to the qualified dash. Should be starting in fifth place. Yes, we will start fifth place here in the qualified dash. And we'll see where Schlenkloth starts here, because that will determine what kind of race we're going to have here. And it looks like he's going to start alongside of us at P6. So this is going to be interesting here. Can we get a good start? And can we gain any ground on the guys in front of us as the green flag is out? Another six laps here in the qualify dash. As we are just kind of beating and banging here at Fairbury. Oh, we're going to make contact with Hill. And the caution is out. So not an ideal start there. We made some contact with Ned Hill. And actually, one thing to make note too, Schlenkloth is now in last place among the qualified dash runners. So green flag is back out. That was a mistake on our part here with the contact with Hill. Now we'll be on the top side here. Try and gain ground on the guys in front of us. You know, to say, as you can tell, we're not really afraid of trying to bang doors here as we continue to door slam opponents all over the place as we're up to P4 with just two laps to go. Thompson is still ahead of us up there. He, lo he looks like he's going to be the car to beat in this race. So our hopes, maybe we can pass some more guys here and get a good position here to get a good start as we're on the final lap. In P3, we just got around Ricky Cox. Tommy Bailey's up ahead of us there and Mikey Thompson. Boy, both those guys look fast. As Thompson's going to win, Bailey is second. We're third. And we're going to go on to the A main here, guys, starting in third place. A good position for us, and it looks like Schenkloth is struggling a little bit, which is good news for us. This is an opportunity for us to gain ground in the championship. This is a big opportunity. Let's go get it. Let's win this race, guys. Let's win it. allergy season here in the Midwest <laughs> at least for me it is uh, but we are here racing on this game I'm loving this game guys I, I do I'm not a dirt fan by like a dirt track racing fan by heart but I'm growing into more of a fan as the more I play this game and then the fact that I live in a town where we do have a dirt track so green flag is out. Oh, contact there. We are trying to get the advantage of staying in second place. Thompson is there on our outside. We had a chance at him, but no go. We're going to stick around out here on the bottom, try to get around Thompson if we can. It's going to take all the effort we can muster here as we go up on the hill right there in the three and four, but no can do. 
So Thompson gets ahead of us here. Now we're just going to have to start riding the top side here and build up our momentum and maybe try to run him down. That is exactly what I wanted you to do, Mikey Thompson. I wanted you to ride the bottom. We are starting to catch some lap traffic here, but 13 to go. He's running the bottom for some unknown reason, and we are catching him fast. We're going to get a good run here up off turn four, and we might take the lead here, guys. I'm not understanding what Mikey Thompson's doing, but he's running the bottom right now. As we are going to get some lap traffic here. Oh, hoo -hoo, this is close. This is close. But we're going to take the lead, guys. We are in the lead here. I'm not, like I said, I don't know what Thompson's doing. But he ran the bottom there for some unknown reason. And we weren't even close to lap traffic yet. Thompson's now back down there below us. We're three wide with a lap car there for a, a handful of moments. But this is going to get interesting. As we're going to try to cross down underneath Thompson going into three. What a move. Up off turn two. Put us back to the point. But not how, not sure for how long here. Eight laps to go. This is going to get interesting. Okay, guys. Three laps to go. We have a one second advantage now on Mikey Thompson. He is stuck in traffic. And we are flying through these lap cars like it's nothing we're getting through these lap cars way better than thompson is i'm not liking that schlenkloff is in fifth place but we keep this up here as we're going to approach the final lap coming out of turn four we're going to take a chunk of points out of his lead with this result here as we will go into prairie view next next episode of this series we're going to come off turn four and score our second win of the local street stock circuit season here at Fairbury. All right. Yes. That is exactly what I wanted. That is what I wanted to happen. I wanted to slank off down the order a little bit, though. But a win is a win. And this is the key victory that we needed in this race for sure. So, the points situation. We are 12 points now behind Schlenkloth after how the last race ended up. That is good for us. So, we gained a lot of ground on him as with only three races left in this season, we're going to need some absolute bangers of races to get the championship in this circuit. We're going to have to win. That's as simple as that. We're going to have to win more than what we just did here at Fairbury. We're going to have to win Prairie View. Let's just win everything out, everything for the rest of the season. And obviously, we were excited in this victory because uh, apparently he did some air guitar work again, which I'm not an air guitarist. I'm not even a guitarist. I don't even do that. I just do this. <laughs> I'm making videos right now, and I go and um, drive a bus in real life. So, yeah. <laughs> Anywho, Prairie View is up next in the next episode here for the local circuit. What a win. We have three races left to go here in the street stock local circuit. Prairie View, I don't know how I feel about that track, but if you could see from Lima Land, which we have coming up after that, we finished second in that race. Our car was not upgraded yet. It is now. We have Lima Land and then Eldora to end the season. I've got a good feeling about these next few races. I'm not, not necessarily Prairie View, but I have a good feeling about Lima Land, and I have a good feeling about Eldora, where we may just go past Schlenkloth and win the championship in this local circuit. Guys, I hope you did enjoy this video, and if you did, please hit that like button, comment, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care.